The K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. Uh, Chase Matthew and love you again on 101.7 K Sam. Uh, good job for him. He is starting to, of course, climb the charts, but he's not up in the top 10 just yet. But we did uh, finally get a look at the weekend top 10 list and look at those top five. Oh there. my goodness. Bailey Zimmerman, where it ends, he's just, he's going to just stay on the chart forever <laughs> and ever and ever. He's never leaving. <laughs> Oh and then right God. above that, Nate Smith at number four with Bulletproof. Nate Smith is going to be on the chart forever. <laughs> uh, a bar song, <laughs> Tipsy by Shabuzi. He's up to number three now. Last, And then the top two songs, they swapped places finally. Mm-hmm. But Morgan Wallen is still number one. I can yeah. put it that way. Morgan Wallen and Ernest replaced Post Malone and Morgan Wallen. And uh, so Cowgirls is the new number one song has in that, America. Has that week. ever happened before? Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't know. I know. We should look that it one may, up. It may be with a Morgan Wallen because he's done a lot of duets before. That's so. crazy. Yeah. Good stuff right there. Jason Aldean, Let Your Boys Be Country. 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Good afternoon. Carlos Zimmerman with you on the Midday Show. Your weather forecast coming right up. And right now it is time to take a pause and let's take a look at our good news of the day. Earlier this month, firefighters rescued a cat and dog from a house fire just west of here in Georgetown. It was all caught on camera. The homeowner had notified the crew of the pets inside. First, they heard the meowing from the cat and were able to bring it out to safety. And then they found the dog, which had been hiding, and both of them are okay. The fire chief said they're just as passionate about saving animals, saying, quote, I have a big space in my heart for dogs. I've got three of them on of my own, so being able to get them out and taking care of them is a big deal for us, too. And a 26-year-old grad student at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, their mascot's the kangaroos, by the way, it's, they uh, spent a year living at a senior living facility where she would share her love of music and playing the piano with the residents in exchange for free room and board. She wasn't taking anyone's place. She was serving as an artist in residence. How about that? That's your good news of the day. As you make your rounds on this Monday afternoon, wherever you may be, hope that warmed your heart and gave you some encouragement to get you through the rest of your Monday and into your Tuesday starting tomorrow. John Michael Montgomery on 101.7 K Sam. You are listening to the greatest iron country music, 90s at noon with the Z-Man. That's right. Your weather forecast on the way, Trace Atkins and Sawyer Brown on the way as well. Well, time for a chocolate story. A new study from George Washington University says that many kinds of chocolate may be bad for us because of the metal inside. Oh, not razor blade metal, but like toxic heavy metals. Researchers analyzed 72 consumer cocoa products, including dark chocolate, over an eight period, whatever that means, and they checked it for contamination with lead, cadmium, and arsenic. Uh, 43% of the products exceeded the maximum allowable dose for lead, 35% exceeded the maximum allowable dose level for cadmium, and none exceeded the maximum for arsenic, so at least that's a plus. Surprisingly, organic labeled products showed higher levels of lead and cadmium compared to non-organic products. Am I trying to deter you from chocolate? Absolutely not, because I love chocolate. Chocolate is great. But, food for thought. See what I did there? Dasha and Austin on your hometown radio station. 101.7 KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Lynn. Your forecast is coming right up. (laughs) Hot, 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 hot. Hey, uh, let's talk about Olympic highlights. Big day for Team USA yesterday, extending their lead in the overall medal count and clawing their way back into the mix for the gold. We won seven more medals and four were the gold in variety yesterday. Simone Biles is uh, won the all-around women's gymnastics final. SUNY Leak took bronze. Now, Simone is the first American gymnast to win it more than once and the first ever to win it, two of them, but not consecutively. Her last gold in the hour round came back in 2016. She now has nine Olympic medals. Six of them are gold. Uh, team USA also won a gold medal in rowing and its first ever gold medal in team fencing with a win for the women's foil. Now, through day six yesterday, the U.S. led with 37 total medals, followed by France at 27, China at 24, Great Britain at 20, and Australia at 18. Now, we also jumped from 7th to 2nd place in the gold medal count. China still leading with 11, Team USA with 9, and 8 for France, Australia, and Japan.